Hi everyone, this story is called Miss Cranberry and the Dancing Tangerine. This is Miss Cranberry and this is Mr Tangerine. They both have two eyes, two arms and two legs, just like you and me. They can both walk and talk. They live in a country called Foodland, which is a place full of funny looking houses. Miss Cranberry lives in a funny looking house. Her house is shaped just like a juice carton. Mr Tangerine also lives in a funny looking house. He lives next door to Miss Cranberry in a house shaped like a fruit bowl. Now, can you remember who else in Foodland lives in a house shaped like a fruit bowl? Yes, that's right. It's Peach and Plum. We shall be seeing these two again later on in the story. Back to Miss Cranberry and Mr Tangerine. As well as being next door neighbours, they were also both teachers. They taught students at Hot Dog High School. Miss Cranberry taught English and drama, whilst Mr Tangerine taught science. They both really enjoyed their jobs very much. Now our story begins one morning in spring. It was a school day and Mr Soup, the headmaster, had asked to see all the teachers in the staff room for an important meeting. Hello everyone, he smiled happily. I have some exciting news. It's fast approaching that time of year again. It's the Foodland Dancing Festival and we've been chosen to host the dance-offs here at Hot Dog High. There's even going to be a TV crew filming the big night. So get your dancing shoes on and get ready to show the world your best dance moves. Ha <laughs> ha! All the teachers were buzzing with excitement. Mr. Mash and Miss Cranberry were dancing down the hallway to their classrooms. Even Mr. Gherkin was dancing. He wasn't the best dancer, but he didn't care about that. He just wanted to be seen on TV. He wanted to be famous. As for Mr. Tangerine, he was less enthusiastic about the festival. He had an embarrassing secret. He didn't know how to dance. Oh dear, he thought to himself and he trundled back to his science lab, feeling rather downbeat. After school lessons had finished for the day, Miss Cranberry went to find Mr Tangerine in his lab. Hello, Mr Tangerine, she smiled. Are you OK? You don't seem your usual chirpy self today. Miss Cranberry was very kind and caring. She never liked to see anyone upset. Can I help you at all, she asked. Mr Tangerine murmured something under his breath. I can't dance, he said. It's so embarrassing. Don't worry, I can teach you, smiled Miss Cranberry nicely. Come on, come with me, and let's dance. When they got home, Miss Cranberry invited Mr Tangerine round to her house. She made a big space in her kitchen to act as a dance floor. Perfect, she said happily. Now, Mr Tangerine, I want you to show me your best dance moves, she said. Mr Tangerine nervously stood in the middle of Miss Cranberry's kitchen like a robot and began to dance like one too. Oh dear, oh dear, said Miss Cranberry. This won't do. You need to move your body when you dance. Otherwise, you'll end up looking like a robot. Poor Mr. Tangerine blushed. I have an idea, she said. And Miss Cranberry turned on the radio. What we need is music. Then we can dance to the beats and move to the rhythms of the tracks that we listen to. Now follow my lead, said Miss Cranberry. Mr. Tangerine was trying to listen to the music and watch his feet at the same time. Then he stood on Miss Cranberry's toe. Ow, she said. Oops. I think we're going to need to put a lot of practice in first. So every day... After school had finished, Miss Cranberry and Mr. Tangerine danced in her kitchen. Together, they danced the tango, the rumba, the waltz and the cha-cha slide. Mr. Tangerine was feeling really, really happy. Soon, the Foodland Dance Festival was in full swing. Mr. Soup had the school hall decorated with lots of banners and balloons. The students had all helped to make signs and posters celebrating the festival. The TV crew arrived and began to set up their cameras in the hall. This is it, said Mr. Soup excitedly to Mr. Mash. I think I'm going to have a go at dancing myself, he said. Mr. Mash almost choked on his chocolate biscuit. Oh, he said. I look forward to seeing that, he spluttered, almost dropping his cup of tea on the floor. Mr. Mash had never seen Mr. Soup dance before. It wasn't long before all of the teachers and students were all set and ready to show the world their dance moves. Other Foodland residents were invited to dance too. Peach and Plum were providing the music. They were DJs for the night. The Pet Shop Boys! Ha ha! Dr Pepper, Mr Biscuit and Mrs Scoop were all there. So too were Mr. Mr T, Mrs Coffee and Miss Nugget. She really knew how to move. Go Miss Nugget! As the dance festival was being shown live on TV, everybody wanted to get in on the camera. No more so than Mr Gherkin. He was throwing lots of shapes and busting out his crazy dance moves. Watch this, he said as one of the TV cameras zoomed in on him. He jumped off a stage and did the splits. Rip! Mr. Gherkin had ripped the hole in his trousers. Oops. Mr. Gherkin had got his wish. He had become famous, but for all the wrong reasons. 
His pants were on show for the whole world to see. Oh dear! Ha <laughs> ha! Miss Cranberry and Mr Tangerine took to the dance floor and the TV cameras were focused on them. Everyone in the school was watching them, cheering and clapping as they danced the night away. Mr Soup awarded Miss Cranberry and Mr Tangerine with the dance-off trophy. Thank you for all your help, whispered Mr Tangerine. You're very welcome, replied Miss Cranberry. All that practice paid off and she gave the dancing tangerine a hug. And that is the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.